Horfix Secure Boot State Unspotted and Disk Layout Validation Fail for Disk Zero. Let's get started. Go to search bar on your Windows and type here SYS Info and go to System Information here. You can see this one BIOS mod legacy. Now go to this PC here, right click, go to manage. Go to disk management here. And go to your local disk zero, I mean C, local disk C, okay. Right click here. And go to properties. Go to volumes. And here you can see partition style is uh, master boot record MBR. So you need to convert this uh, uh, style, uh, partition style to GPT. So after converting uh, this uh, disk partition style MBR to GPT, you can easily fix the issue. Go to search bar on your Windows and type your CMT. Now right click on it, run as administrator. Now first command use this one, copy and paste here. Edit and paste, press enter on your keyboard and copy this command here. Edit and paste, press enter on your keyboard. So I'm fixing this error, so don't worry about it. I will show you some more settings to fix this error. Now close your CMD. Now here you can see uh, disk 0. Uh, I have local disk C and a new volume D. And I have another disk 1, E and F. You can see I go to this PC and E and F. Okay. This is my new volume D. Here you can see D. These parts, these two parts are for my SSD. And these, these two parts are for my uh, hard drive. So I copy and cut it. This is my uh, data. And and I paste here. Now you need to delete this volume here. This one, this one, one new volume D. Delete volume. Go to this PC and uh, the volume is not here. You can see here. Now go to disk management here. and delete partition now go to search bar on your windows type here cmd right click on your command prompt run as administrator now type this command again add it and paste press enter so validation completed successfully you can see now here you can see copy this command edit and paste press and turn your keyboard now wait for some time here so you can see you need to switch the firmware to boot to UEFI mod now I go to my disk here, right click on it and go to top this here and volume. So successfully convert it to GPT. Okay. Now click OK. Now close it and close it. Close it. Go to search bar on your Windows type here S Y S info. Go to system configuration. Go to system information. Legacy. Now uh, close it. Go to search bar on the windows, type here settings. Go to system settings. Go to update and security. Go to recovery. And go to restart now. If you have Dell PC, then restart your PC. And press F2 on your keyboard. These settings are for Dell PC. After restarting your PC, uh, press F2 on your keyboard and preparing to enter setup here secure boot and go to 
uh, legacy boot uh, advanced boots options uncheck this option here but select from uh, boot sequence first okay click here boot sequence select this one UEFI here you can see uh, this one this is my SSD okay now go to here advanced boot options uncheck this option here now go to secure boot here secure boot and uh, click on enable this option here now it's done now go to apply click here apply now click on exit it's working now here and these settings are for hp laptop and pc now click on restart now here and go to troubleshoot here and go to advanced options uef5 firmware settings here click on restart now go to bio setup press f10 on your keyboard and here you can see file go to security scroll down go to security boot configuration press enter press f10 on your keyboard and here you can see legacy support enabled you have to disable it and secure boot you have to enable it secure boot is enabled now press f10 on your keyboard this one now go to file here scroll down save changes and it's it press enter now press enter again and yes now go to search bar on your windows and type sys system information go to system information and you can see bios mod is uh, uefi now okay Windows security, device security, and secure board is on now. Now go to this PC and open it. And uh, here go to disk management. And this one you can see this partition is unallocated. Now go to this PC and uh, and unallocated. Right, right click and new symbol volume next next choose uh, default select g click on next and select ntfs by default click on next and finish now here you can see this is my new volume disk okay g and close it it's done please subscribe the channel like the video